Hey guys, it's Taylor Swift, and today I'm going to talk to you about Easter eggs. No, not the bunny pastel Easter eggs, although I really do love that aesthetic right now. I'm loving pastels. But um, yeah, Easter eggs that I'm gonna talk to you about are the kind of cryptic message sending Easter eggs. Well, trust Taylor Swift to give us inside scoop on the things happening in her love life through her music. Like everyone already knows, Taylor has a reputation for sharing information she would never directly say through her song lyrics. Like how we knew her former boyfriend, Joe Alwyn, was supposedly a cheater and a lying coward through her 11th album, The Tortured Poets Department, despite her not saying anything or making any official statement on their breakup. Joe is definitely not the only guy who has been the inspiration behind several of Taylor's songs. Jake Gyllenhaal, Harry Styles, and Calvin Harris have supposedly inspired songs from previous albums like Red, 1989, and Reputation, where she basically slams them and calls them out for their BS. So yeah, that is Taylor Swift for you guys. She always has something to say through her songs, whether good or bad. And now that the pop queen is in love again, she is using her songs to give us juicy details about her relationship with NFL player Travis Kelsey. And in this video, we will share all the references and hidden information about Kelsey in the Fortnite music video. So guys, over the weekend, Taylor shared a promotional clip for her track Fortnite on YouTube Shorts, and it is filled with so many adorable references to her romance with NFL star Travis Kelsey. And it is literally the cutest thing you will ever see. And it is also wild because Taylor has not been this free with a man she is in a relationship with for the longest time. So yeah, it is kind of cool that she is living her best life with someone that she loves and trusts so much that she is comfortable making video clips and releasing songs about him. Honestly, it is hard to miss but her latest album has songs you can tell are about Travis. For instance, in the song So High School, she talked about The Kiss, referring to the game Travis played back when he did Catching Kelsey. No doubt she saw that video, because why else would she sing that she's betting on all three to be true? Swift, Ariana Grande, Katy Perry. Kill, Mary kiss. Just the game. Uh, just the game. Uh, it's Taylor Swift would be the... She sings about him getting her out of the car, taking us back to when they began dating and how he opened the car door for her and took her out. He gets her car door, which references the famous moment. Then there was the part where she sings, he pulls me closer in the back seat. Later, Taylor confesses something shocking. She says no one has treated her that way. Honestly, it's surprising because she has dated several men really weird. Then she referred to some games they played and said that he knows how to play ball and she is Aristotle, reminding us that they have two different career paths and have somehow made it work. She also reveals how attentive Travis is even when he is with her and his guys are around. He is never distracted and never lets her go, <laughs> which is almost a challenge for most guys. So you just know that Travis is someone fully aware of his woman. Taylor also sings that he knew what he wanted and got her, taking us back to the famous friendship bracelet fiasco that was a complete disaster. She also said that she feel like laughing in the middle of her Eras tour practice when she remembered his impersonation of his father. Clearly, Travis makes Taylor laugh a lot because she confesses in her song that she is high from laughing at his jokes all night. She also talks about him in the song Alchemist, where she basically confessed that her breakup with Joe did her bad, and Travis basically saved her. In the song, she then sings that they are on a winning streak and that he jokes that it's heroin, but this time with an E, meaning Travis sees her as his lucky charm that made him win the Super Bowl. Obviously, Tay-Tay is madly in love with Travis, and her songs are the biggest reveal of how adorable they are together. On the other hand, there is the 16-second clip meant to, like, get fans to participate in the hashtag for a Fortnite challenge. And no one expected to see Travis in it, but when you think about it, it is actually not surprising. For one, Travis is definitely a super Swifty. That man had loved Taylor even before he met her. Like, who can forget the bracelet with his number on it that he made her when he was still trying to grab her interest? He has always been super supportive of her career, showing up at her shows, singing along, and not being afraid to be in the spotlight with her. So if Taylor had gone and said, 
babe, I need you in my music video, he would definitely jump right up screaming, when and where. Interestingly, some clips in her Fortnite recap starred Kelsey directly, but there were also a handful of sweet yet subtle moments where she referenced their relationship. So yeah, it's kind of interesting how she gives fans full details of some things and lets them try to decode some parts of the video. And then uh, Taylor Swift would be the kiss. And then Katy Perry, what's the last one? Katy Perry. Katy Perry would Mary. be the, yeah, Katy Mary Perry, Perry would be the He's like, yes. Okay. Duh. He chose um, to kiss Taylor Swift, which was very cute. Yeah. Um, and she references the Kiss Mary Kill game in that song. So, so high school is 100. So here are some of the parts about the couple that really stood out. Let's start with the part where Kelsey gives Taylor a peck on the cheek. Like that was absolutely swoon worthy. Definitely left lots of y'all giggling. In the video, we see him lean in to kiss Taylor on the cheek while she makes something in the kitchen. Doesn't it, like, give you an idea that these two are probably been living together for a while now, and they seem to be setting everything in place for what they want their life to look like when they finally get married? Then we see Taylor wearing a colorful University of Kansas sweatshirt while making crafts. And immediately fans saw that. They immediately thought Travis, for obvious reasons. First. It is not a big secret that Travis is from Kansas City, and everyone knows the NFL player plays for the Kansas City Chiefs, and the Chiefs' home venue, Arrowhead Stadium, is literally an hour away from the KU campus. But fans were sort of confused, because Travis attended the University of Cincinnati and not the University of Kansas. But it feels more like she was obviously just trying to identify with the place where Travis grew up than with the university he attended. Taylor feels like she is a part of the city, and it is a place that holds a lot of meaning for her. Then, there is the clip of cinnamon rolls in the video. Now, what is interesting about this is that every close pal of Taylor Swift knows that she makes the best cinnamon rolls, and there have been talks that she regularly takes some to Travis just before his games. Like, do you remember that in December of last year, former NFL quarterback Bernie Kosar shared in an interview that he once tried one of Swift's homemade cinnamon rolls while at Kelsey's house um, before a Chiefs game? He said, I was at his house like three hours before the game. We're having a pre-game meal and Taylor is so nice. She comes in by herself and she's so cool. She brings her homemade cinnamon rolls for Travis for the pre-game meal. Okay, the dots are definitely connecting because you cannot say the clip of the cinnamon rolls in the video is not from the game that Bernie Kosar was talking about. Oh my God, how adorable is it that Travis loves Taylor's baked goods? I can't believe how even more awesome she was. And to be nice to maybe me or the family, you know, maybe that's one thing. Man, over a couple days, Jen and Tim, to see how genuine she was with everybody. But as she's cruising in, how special. She comes in and she made cinnamon rolls for Travis. So I'm a juicer, modified intermittent fasting, Kosar coffee, and, right, you know, yeah. the juicing and all that, vitamin D infused, but... Hell, you gotta try. You gotta try a little nibble of a cinnamon roll. Yes, you the did. Taylor did, so. So wait, you didn't say, were they good cinnamon rolls? Oh, they were awesome. Were they awesome? Then enter the night stroll at Singapore's Gardens by the Bay. This feels very special because this year has been a major one for Taylor. She had back-to-back -to -back tours, and they have been the most successful ones of her career. And in March, Taylor played six sold-out concerts in Singapore, which was her only Southeast Asian stop on the Eras tour. And of course, Kelsey flew hundreds of miles to see her and was spotted in the audience on two nights. And since her man was in the city, it only made sense that they tried to spend quality time together despite her hectic schedule. Apparently, during her downtime, she and her man took a romantic night stroll through the country's famous gardens by the bay, as seen in her video. Not Travis Kelsey being in Taylor's For a Fortnite video twice. You guys, it's the cutest thing I've ever seen. I will just always love that she feels so comfortable sharing these things with us and not having to worry about it because it's the sweetest thing. We kind of knew this happened even though we didn't know much details about the entire event. And guess what? It was Travis himself that confessed. 
On the 31st of March, Travis, on the podcast with his brother, talked about his experience at the gardens and went on and on about how it was one of the most exciting times of his life. He couldn't stop talking about how large the greenhouse was, how huge the trees were, and how impressive the waterfall in the greenhouse was, but we bet the best part of him being there was because he was with the love of his life. And of course, we cannot forget the Kansas City Chiefs pickleball paddle from the video. In one of the clips in the video, Swift was holding a red Kansas City Chiefs pickleball paddle while wearing a white top and lavender shorts. Honestly, Kelsey might have been playing for the Chiefs since 2013, but Swift has become his biggest cheerleader, as she is always rooting for him at many of his NFL games. We love that these lovebirds are out and loud about their love life. They appear in control of it and give enough to fans, while keeping the best part private until they are ready to share. But fans, as usual, have been giving their opinions since the video was released. While some are eating it up and absolutely loving it, some see it as doing too much. One fan tweets, Did Travis need to be in any of her project? And another says, This is giving, clout chasing, get it out of my face. Anyways, Travis and Taylor are definitely living their best life, and Taylor remains committed to breaking records after her latest album became the first album in Spotify history to have over 300 million streams in a single day. Not only that, she also successfully smashed records on Apple Music and Amazon Music. How do you think Taylor's music reflects her feelings for Travis? Do you think Travis Kelsey's involvement in Taylor's music videos adds to or detracts from her artistic expression? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Pop Plug. And if you want to watch Travis Kelsey speaking on wanting to start a family with Taylor Swift, click on this next video.